There you go. We're taking you on the boat with us. All right, so Wayne's in the air, flying all over the bay. He's going to try to locate white sharks for us. I thought it was supposed to be a pretty calm day, but I did not look at the weather because I knew we were going no matter what. Um, captain says it's going to lay down a little bit. We'll be able to work in this. I'm not too worried about it. You basically got Wayne up in the air who's telling you there's a shark off at 2 o'clock at three boat lengths, so you know exactly where to look. And um, that helps a lot, believe me. And then you're looking for something that just looks different. It's an anomaly in the water. Um, for me, it's it's different color. It's just different coloration in the shape of a torpedo, and boom, there it is. Zero still counts, Megan will say, for data. But yes, sitting out here hoping to show you a shark is soul crushing. <laughs> we are playing the waiting game. Uh, the pilot's been flying for three and a half hours now. Not a shark yet, but conditions are improving, so we're optimistic that we'll, uh, we'll see a shark or two by the end of the day. What do you say, Captain? I agree. The wind's supposed to die down to three to four knots. The tide's going to go out and get water's going to get a little shallower, and hopefully we'll get some improved visibility and uh, find some fish to work with. And Cynthia, do you have hope? I am very hopeful. We are going to find you a shark. <laughs> <laughs> and Craig, do you, do you share the hope? Now, I'm, I'm confident we're going to see a shark today, maybe even two. You know, I look around this boat, I see our team. We work together, we always see sharks, and I'm wondering what's different. All right, this is Rob Michelson, the curse of the boat. Um, I want to apologize to the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy and to Greg Skomal. There's nothing I can do about it. Sometimes we're just born a certain way, and I was born this way, a curse. Normally, we're not bored. Particularly in, in mid-July, so we're in a bit of a quandary because we normally don't just find ourselves sitting around talking. We generally don't like each other. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're like a close really family. Awkward. Hey, we're finding something. Awesome. This is good. Hey, we're we... up the ocean. All right, we have a shark. How are we feeling, everybody? Good. We good. Have a shark. I told you. We just called it a shark. We're on our way. Yeah, they're saying it's, he's saying it's a small, very small shark. It's really important for us to get a sense of not just what the big sharks are doing off of Cape Cod, but all different size classes. So we want we want tags on everything. We've seen sharks anywhere from about six feet in length, a so little, little bitty to a white shark, all the way up to about 17 feet. I personally get more excited when we tag a really small one than a big one, because we don't have as many small ones tagged. So every shark is important. Oh, there it is, there it is. It's checking us out. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Right there. Just that shadow we talk about. So right now, I've got a hydrophone in the water to listen and hear if the shark has been tagged. There we go! So we estimated the size of the shark we just saw. Uh, we put it at nine, at nine feet. So we take what uh, we call an expert consensus. So I estimate the length, I keep it to myself, um, and then I'll ask Greg and everybody else who's on the boat how big they think it is. And that's the way we come up with kind of an educated guesstimate of how long the shark is. You say nine feet's about the average around here? So right now, for this is our third trip in Cape Cod Bay, and so far we've seen sharks ranging in size from seven feet all the way up to 11 feet, but most of them have been between eight and 10 feet in length. The shark that we're coming up on, I think it's going to be a good one. They're I think all we're great. <laughs> They're all great whites. <laughs> Pretty good, old Mike. He's about right there. He's right here.
Alright, where is this son of a gun? I think we lost him. Kind of us. It's deep, though. I think we just overran it. Rise up! Yeah, sing that song. Last time that worked. We sang that all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Springsteen song, by the way. I don't, I hate him. How can you hate him? It's just like... It's a working man music. Hop, sharks are important, but what about Bruce Springsteen? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you hate Bruce Springsteen? I just don't like his voice. Like saying you hate, you know, Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> he has comedic value. Start to converge with them. They love it when he sings. Rise up! Come on, rise up! And do you think the singing helped? Uh, yeah, the old Rise Up song from Springsteen really worked. <laughs> Megan's hatred of Springsteen. <laughs> it, it fueled. It fueled it your... It fueled it. Fueled <laughs> it. Hey, news guy, the curse is off. You're no longer bad mojo. Yay! All right! All right, it's good to get a small one tagged up here in Cape Cod Bay. I'm pretty excited about that. Well, nobody home. All right, find us another one, Flyboy. Greg tagged a fish about half an hour ago. Um, we had we had a few before then, so we had a little flurry of activity, and uh, now it's 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 back to quiet. So we're back to waiting. We're not only spotting sharks in the sea. Only that, yeah, that's. We have sharks in the sky. Yeah, we got sharks in the sky. We definitely have curious sharks sometimes around the boat, but this is the first that I've seen that's just been circling and circling. So he's definitely giving Greg a workout. Oh, I'm feeling great. You know, this is a cool shark. It's checking out the boat. This might be one of those sharks that's been taking advantage of hook striped bass by fishermen in this area. Clearly uh, is curious about the boat, curious about us. We haven't seen that many tagged fish when we've been working out here yet either, so that's one of the things we're, we're trying to do. Uh, one of the reasons why we're tagging fish in the bay is to get an idea of fish that are tagged in the bay. Do they, do they mostly stay in the bay? Are they going out to the outer cape? So, all, all questions we hope to be able to answer in the next couple of years. We have uh, four sharks right in the area right now, so. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's a great, I mean, given how slow the day started, I'm pretty happy about it. I mean, it was, it was, it was great. Salvage <laughs> day. It was great. Are we homeward bound? Homeward bound. It's dead. Uh, homeward bound. Good job, guys. Well, it started slow. This was a slow trip in the beginning. We had some weather that was challenging. Um, I think the visibility was fairly poor in the water. But uh, we salvaged the day. I mean, we saw, you know, seven, eight, nine sharks and uh, got to tag one. So, you know, any day we can have some success in Cape Cod Bay, which is a new area for us, is a good day. Ended up being a great trip. Definitely a quiet start. So we were a little nervous that it wouldn't end up being a good day, but it was, it was great. Great to see Greg get a tag out and to see as many sharks as we did this afternoon. Yeah, I was nervous. A little nervous in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was too. I was uh, sweating it a little that we weren't going to find any sharks for you. <laughs> and it was going to end up being a really boring story about a bunch of people talking on a boat. Cut. Cut. Yeah, Cut. no, don't worry. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend I heard off the record on that. <laughs> <laughs>